everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of The Pixel Show. Let's get started. So The Pixel Show, what is it? This is the bio show. I figured that we would do one show that you could go and get an idea of what we are about, what we're doing, uh, whether it's the first episode or two years in and you're like, what's the show about? You can always go back and check out the bio show and see what we're about. So first of all, who are we? Who is the Pixel Show? Who's behind the Pixel Show? Well, I'm your host, Robert Evans. Um, and But I want to introduce you to the cast. Really, the cast is just me and uh, my co-host and technical master, 6898. So let me tell you a little bit about 6898 first. Um, his background is uh, in video, and he is a photographer as well, but um, he's been doing journalism for 15, 20 years now. Um, he's a cameraman at the local NBC affiliate at Care 11 News here in Minneapolis, um, but shoots a ton of sports. He's the steady cam guy on the field for the Vikings, does replay in the booth for the Minnesota Wild, uh, shoots under the net for the Wolves games, Timberwolves, uh, Gophers, uh, I think he might even shot some soccer before and uh, maybe even girls basketball, but we won't tell anybody that. Um, and Nate is also a car geek. Uh, he loves Kit. Uh, for those of you not old enough to know who Kit is, uh, David Hasselhoff, look it up. It's a great show uh, from the 80s and 90s. And uh, But Nate actually owns a Kit car. You can see it in the photo right here. But Nate, why don't you 6 8 Nate, come in here, say hi to the people. Show him who you are. Show him your face. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, really Six, happy to be here. Six eight and eight, the guy behind the scenes. He's cutting the show. Technical problems are his fault, not mine. But uh, so that's Nate. All right, on to me. Um, so my photographic journey began a long time ago. Um, I've really been interested in photography since I was in middle school, and it was a middle school teacher that uh, got my interest in photography. Um, but I took it through high school and uh, some in college, and but basically I decided that's what I wanted to do with my life. And uh, you know, at 19, 20 years old, I wanted to be a fashion photographer, or a Playboy photographer, and of course I ended up at a wedding studio because that's where there was an opening. Uh, a little bit before that, I did work in a color lab for Hollywood for a year, but then I realized I actually wanted to take pictures and not develop people's photos. Uh, so anyway, I worked at a, a studio called Jeffrey Allen's Photography that was in the San Fernando Valley in Southern California and uh, shot my first wedding in January of 89. And I actually remember the name of my first couple. Um, it was quite interesting. Um, well, actually, I don't remember their first names, but her first name actually was Kim, and his last name was Kim, and so her married name was Kim Kim. <laughs> so that's easy to remember, right? But I shot my first wedding in 1989. I started my own business in January of 94. I worked for two, three studios total before I started my business in, in 94, and uh, I've been doing it ever since. And I absolutely love photography. Uh, it's I'm going on 30 years. Um, I've learned a lot. I started off, you know, shooting medium format, Hasselblad's film. I transitioned to digital uh, somewhere around 2003, and I've been shooting digital since. And uh, one of the things I'm most proud of is in 2013, I was asked by Sony to be a Sony artisan of imagery. So that means, uh, what's that mean? I'm like one of a handful of photographers that Sony sponsors. Um, and today I was one of seven or eight when I first started. There's about 40 of us today. Um, and so of course I shoot Sony, love shoot, love Sony. Uh, so if you wanna see more about other artisans and learn a little bit more about Sony and a ton of other educational information and articles, you can go to alphauniverse.com. Uh, but one of the reasons that I was asked to become an artisan, my guess is that I've shot a ton of celebrity weddings over the years. Now, this is a world that I say chose me. I didn't choose it, but I've loved every minute of it. Um, I've shot some of the biggest celebrity weddings in the world. I've traveled all over the world uh, from movie stars to TV stars to athletes to business people. You name it, I've done it. Uh, but it's been such a pleasure. But I really enjoy photographing weddings even today. Um, 
And it really sometimes just everyday people are the best. I mean, I guess if I did, you know, five celebrity weddings a year, uh, you know, I could just do that. But I love photographing everyday people's weddings. Basically, I love photography. So anyway, enough about that. Um, so the Pixel Show, this show. So those of you that also have been around long enough, about 10 years ago or so, I had uh, kind of a show called uh, Show, sort of website educational site called photographymentor.com uh, that I did with a, a, another friend of mine. And uh, we did that for a couple of years up until 2008, 2009, when the economy changed. And we kind of had to stop doing it because we were putting our own money into it. And, you know, like everyone, we kind of had to slow down the spending. So I really missed educating and I really missed doing this. And I really wanted to get back into it. Of course, I speak and I do workshops and seminars, uh, but I wanted to kind of get back into the online teaching thing. Uh, so I've spent a year putting this show together slowly but surely. Like my attitude, like it says on the screen, is sort of like the field of dreams attitude, I call it. If you build it, they will come. So this is our first episode, um, and we're just going to march forward and, and learn as we go and, and get feedback from you guys. I want you guys to be an integral part of the show. So I want you to comment, feedback. We're going to do photo contests. We're going to get into more of that. So uh, so who, who should watch? Well, really, anybody that's a photographer, videographer, you know, pixel lover, uh, we're going to talk about a lot of things on this show. Um, and so what type of content are you going to get? Well, there's going to be three main topics, of course, photography. Uh, we're going to talk about video and we're going to talk about media. So those are going to be the three main things uh, that we do. And uh, let me give you a little idea of uh, some of the show segments that we're going to be doing here in the future. And of course, there's going to be two years from now, we're going to probably be doing these shows and other ones. Um, but one of the big segments that I'm going to do, and this is something that I talk about when I teach uh, workshops and seminars, is the power of simple. So basically, how to make your photographs more powerful by doing less. Um, and little techniques that you can do uh, um, to, to make a lot of it is, is a composition, but I'm going to teach other things beyond composition. But it's those principles like rule of thirds, uh, middle ground, foreground, background, depth of field. But we're going to talk about color and lighting and little things that you can do. But it's those principles that are going to be a big part of this show and how we do the photo contests. And I'll explain more of that later. Um, segment I'm going to do called I Wish I Took That, where I find other images on the internet, all types of photography that I absolutely love, and uh, tell you about those photographers. And so you can go seek out more of their work and be inspired, because I have to constantly inspire myself. Three Stops Better, uh, that's going to be kind of our version of a critique, critique show. I don't want to, you know, at least it's subjective, right? It's my view of, you know, hopefully people will be sending in the work and we're going to do a show. And I just want to give you three things that I think could make the image better. So that's going to be a little bit about what Three Stops Better is, what's in your bag. Of course, uh, you know, we'll talk to other photographers and, and uh, what they use. This is kind of a popular thing on the Internet. You see photos of things that people take with them. So we're going to explore that with uh, other photographers. Uh, show me the light. So we're going to talk about and uh, stuff where we can do segments where uh, finding the light, you know, how to use the light the best, whether we're talking about strobe, available light, continuous light. Um, you know, so those things. So we're going to talk about that's going to be a little bit about lighting. We're going to do interviews with other photographers, uh, you know, so we'll have them on and, and find out more about other people and, and open your eyes to other people out there. Uh, and of course, we're going to talk about uh, gear. Uh, so we're going to talk a lot about Sony gear, of course, because I'm a Sony artisan and that's the gear that I use. I don't want to alienate other people. I want you to be able to learn. I mean, if you're a Canon shooter, Nikon, whatever, you know, please Hopefully you can learn stuff, but we are going to talk a lot about Sony gear. Uh, we're going to talk about software, apps, you know, storage and media, backup, things like that. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about news. We're not going to be a news channel, but if there's anything newsworthy, anything that's positive, I only want to focus on positive news and encouraging things. Um, I'm not going to be the review guy, although we will talk about equipment. I'm just going to talk about, you know, how I use it and how to make images, you know, what the 50 is or what this body does, you know, things like that. And then the other thing I want to talk about a little bit is about photographic history. Uh, and uh, we're going to talk about a little bit about some of the photographic greats, the legends, uh, you know, that have brought photography to this point. Because uh, I think it's important to go back and learn 
from those people as well. So, um, you know, bodies, we're going to talk bodies, cameras, video bodies. Uh, we're going to talk a lot about lenses and, and the different uses for them and what you can do with them. And then other types of uh, equipment, lighting equipment, light meters, stands, anything that's photography related, video related, as far as gear goes, you know, we will talk about it over the years on the show. Um, and then I mentioned this earlier, but one of the things that I really want to do is contests. And the contests are going to be open to any type of photographer, any type, no matter what you shoot, no matter what your photography is, because we're not going to do it based on uh, genre of photography. So I'm not going to, you know, if you're not a wedding photographer and I say, hey, this month we're going to have the best wedding picture, we're going to base it on those principles of the power of simple that I was talking about. So we might do depth of field. And, and for the month uh, when we do that contest, I'm like, all right, everybody send in your best images of depth of field. So regardless of what you shoot, I just want you to show me the best example of depth of field. We'll probably narrow it down uh, to the best 10 images, and then we'll do a show with the final 10 in images and show those. And then, of course, there'll be a prize for first place. Um, and probably one of my ideas with that is for the top 10. I'll bring in another photographer, and we'll discuss the top 10 images and, uh, and then ultimately pick a winner. So the contests are gonna be based around those things. So anybody can participate, whether you're new to photography, whether you've been doing it 50 years, um, you know, and we'll get some good prizes and, and gifts to give away. So where, what do you mean where, Rob? Where can you find us on the internet? Well, we're gonna be in all the typical places. Uh, we are going to have a website that goes along with this show, so where we can put the content and show notes and things like that, and that's, of course, thepixelshow.com. Uh, you know, YouTube, The Pixel Show. Uh, Twitter, we are at the Pixel Show YT for YouTube. Uh, the Pixel Show group on Facebook, at The Pixel Show on Instagram, and uh, anywhere else. So please follow us, like us, love us, send us comments, and as we build this, you know, we're going to try to create content that you guys want, that you guys ask for uh, to the best of our abilities. Um, and so when should you watch? Well, whenever you want. That's the great thing about today is you can basically uh, grab a, any type of media and watch it. And, you know, well, why should you watch? Well, our goal here is just to basically keep it real. Um, you know, we want to give you reasons to watch the show. And uh, everyone's invited. I want everyone to tune in. I don't want to alienate people. I want everyone, this is going to be a positive show. Um, we're going to help people grow, learn. Hopefully it'll be a little bit funny. I'm no Jim, Jimmy Fallon, but I'm just going to be myself. I'm going to be authentic. Uh, I like puns, so you might get a bad pun here and there. Um, and hopefully you like me. Um, and... Hopefully you learn something and then we can inspire you and entertain you a little bit and uh, you want to tell your friends about it. Uh, so definitely. And how do you tune in? Of course, I don't have to tell you that. You guys can tune in on your iPhones, your smartphones, whatever you use. Uh, if you have a tablet uh, and of course on the computer. And now so many people have YouTube in their home that uh, you can just pull that up on your smart TV and sit back and watch it. But that's what this show is going to be about. So I really encourage you, invite you to turn in. We hope that you, you watch, subscribe to our channel, tell your friends about it. And, and again, we're going to shape this show sort of around you as we go. We're just starting. I'm not saying, you know, I've been doing it 30 years. I'm not saying I'm the best photographer out there. I know a lot. I've done some amazing things. I want to share that with you. There's so many new people getting into photography, and I just want to help and support that. So uh, thank you very much. Hopefully uh, keep following us and look for the next episode of The Pixel Show. Mm -hmm.